everybody, this is the Vikstrand and boy howdy have I longed to make a review about Starship Troopers. This is by the way my hotel Villa de Surf here on Surf Island, which will be my last review in the Seychelles. It's been a really fun blast to review, you know, good movies, great movies, horrible movies and so-and-so movies here on uh, the Seychelles, but we're going off with an absolute bang because we are going to take a look at today one of my favorite movies of all time one of my all-time favorite science fiction movies of all time since I saw this movie the first time on opening night in Sweden January 1998 I have been under the impression that this is one of the most clever funniest most entertaining most action-packed movies of all time and one of the single greatest science fiction movies of all time and I'm gonna take you with me on this little journey of yours. This is Starship Troopers! are threatening Earth from their evil lair over in uh, Klandatu where they you know hurl rocks towards uh, you know Earth and so mankind is under attack basically from these um, insect-like creatures that are very big and very hungry and very ferocious. The threat of the arachnids is not really the biggest issue for uh, Johnny Rica, our main character, played by Casper Van Dien. The problem is that uh, he can't seem to be able to get laid with uh, Denise Richards. Relatable, I can understand that. He wants, however, to join the mobile infantry and uh, fight the arachnids and uh, you know, doing so against his parents' will. It, it joins the Federation together with uh, Lissy, who kind of has a crush on Johnny. Uh, we have Ace and um, of course, Carl, played by Neil Patrick Harris, who is a very, very smart guy. How will the Federation utilize his, uh, his smartness? We shall see. It doesn't take long, however, for, for, the, um, for the arachnids to basically Pearl Harbor the Earth and, and wax uh, Buenos Aires into oblivion, which, you know, prompts war to, to commence. And now uh, they're sending these people into battle with the arachnids and are they gonna win? Are they gonna save the world? Or what's gonna happen? We shall see. Starship Troopers is a movie almost tailor-made for me. No, no, no. Scratch it. It is tailor-made for me. No movie in history, I think, has been more tailored to my specific taste of what a movie should be, especially if it inspires to be a sci-fi movie. I love the blood, I love the violence, I love the action sequences, I love the propaganda numbers, I love the small little you know, commercials from uh, you know, the, the, the Fed network when they you know, are, are explaining what they're doing and uh, all these little small little tidbits that gives you the information about society which was so vital to movies like Robocop. But unlike Robocop, here Paul Verhoeven took you know, measures one step beyond and Thank freaking God that they got Paul Verhoeven to do this movie. Any other uh, filmmaker that they would have been tasked to do this movie would have either made a very sloppily made uh, sci-fi action movie that we wouldn't have cared that much about or would have just you know, focused too much on special effects like that and forgotten about the characters or they would have just made it too much of a straight up movie that didn't really have this satire uh, edge to it. Much of this can be attributed to the fact that Paul Verhoeven lived under Nazi occupation in uh, Holland when he was a kid and that does stuff to a person. So I can really understand how he would you know, use the uh, traumas from his childhood to incorporate that into this movie. I'll bet, by the way, if this movie would have been made today, it wouldn't have been a movie. It would, have, it would have been a Netflix show that would have been cancelled after two seasons and people would have been a little pissed about it. This time they took those two seasons of this Netflix show, crammed it together into 129 absolutely glorious minutes. This movie is so packed with stuff, you're thinking, Jesus Christ, this movie moves fast. 
but it doesn't feel rushed. Every character has an arc, every sequence has a purpose, and they are able to squeeze in so much freaking stuff into this one that you're wondering what the fuck is gonna happen next, and just boom, 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 action sequence, FedNet uh, commercials, talks about what they're going to do, characters trying to figure out their, their place in society, bugs eating people, it is mwah, absolutely magnificent. We have everything in this one. We have training to go to war. We have dark humor. We have absolutely fantastic action sequences, especially when they hit Tango, Tango Urilla and they're you know, pinned down by these enormous amounts of uh, bugs. Thing is that for some reason, this movie was made back in 1997. And I think that the, despite this, 25 years later, Jesus Christ, time flies you guys, the effects, still holds up in my opinion the there is a pretty good blend of uh, you know miniatures models uh, actual sets and and cgi that blends well together and the fact is also that i absolutely love the uh, you know small little details in 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 uniforms and in and the, the sets and stuff like that. The sets kind of has a timeless feel to it and they also look a little hokey at the same time, which actually benefits this movie. And, to, and on top of that, Basil Polidori's absolutely amazing soundtrack. I don't have too many soundtracks in my enormous wall of, uh, of, of CDs, but I do have this one. It is absolutely flawless. I really don't have many criticisms about, about this movie at all. The fact is that one of my original criticisms of this movie when I saw it the first time is that we don't have any, any you know, film stars in this one. Apart from Neil Patrick Harris in a rather small role, Michael Ironside as Ratchak, the teacher turned um, sergeant, and Clancy Brown trying to be R. Lee Ermey. Sorry, Clancy, but you're not R. Lee Ermey, and uh, you didn't have enough time to really craft a character like that. And, also, and it should also be, again, some kind of a cinematic law to make a movie with a drill instructor, hard as nails type of a character after Full Metal Jacket has made, because it has already been made, and it can never be made better again. Another thing about this movie that is so fucking great is if you really want to see the, how much details Paul Verhoeven has poured into this one, Watch this movie with the DVD commentary. The DVD commentary for Starship Troopers remains today the single greatest commentary track I've ever listened to about a single movie. I've listened to quite a lot of them, but this one is the fucking best. Starship Troopers is, by the way, based on a small little bit of the very thin book Starship Troopers by hobby fascist Robert A. Hainlane. I read this book actually and uh, hoping to get you know all that uh, action and all that cool stuff from the movie i and uh, they barely even mention the arachnids they're sort of fighting somewhere else they're fighting these other weird things and they're wearing these huge hulking um pacific rim-esque uh, you know armor suits that uh, they you know fighting these other guys with and it is mostly about why fascism is good i think i I don't know, I didn't understand the book, but that basically makes this movie the greatest adaptation of all time, because I didn't think the book was very good. I think this movie is absolutely fantastic. It is almost flawless. When it comes to the ending, when I saw this movie originally, I was a little bit, oh no, I wanted more. In fact, they could have stretched this one out to five hours and it probably could have, could have you know, kept the same amount of stuff going on but th the number of times i've seen it afterwards every time i i rewatch this movie since then i realize more and more and more that this is the perfect ending in a movie that should not have any fucking sequels i have never watched them and i will never watch them i'm not gonna do the highlander mistake again uh-uh not this time but if you have never seen starship troopers and you want to see a fun entertaining hokey but very very serious at the same time 
science fiction movie about intergalactic warfare. There has never been a better movie made about this specific subject. Nothing tops it, period. If you are a bit allergic to the whole, you know, science fiction thing, this is not going to sway you in, in, in any way, despite this being the best movie, because you will only be annoyed at the things you are normally annoyed by when it comes to science fiction. I think that this movie has some really great story arcs, it has some interesting characters, it has a lot of characters, and you're invested in basically, well, everybody, I would, I would say that, because this movie just has so much stuff going on, and it feels like, basically, as I said, that they've crammed in a TV show into basically 129 minutes. It is like if somebody took uh, 300 pounds of muscles and put it in a 200 pound body. It looks absolutely brutal. Do I have any problems with this movie whatsoever? No! Starship Troopers is, from start to finish, a masterpiece. Paul Verhoeven's best movie. I am a huge fan of Paul Verhoeven's movies, and especially when he has something a little bit hokey, a little bit ridiculous to work around, because there, that is where the magic happens. I give Starship Troopers 99 points. It is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. It's spectacular. It is bloody. It is violent. It is smart. It is cleverly written. It's very well acted. And it has a ton of great and fantastic little, little character arcs to the point where you realize you don't need big stars. You need big characters. And they actually pretended like they were big characters and, and ended up actually being that. If you've never seen this movie, do see this movie and make up your own mind whether or not this is the greatest movie in the history of action sci-fi that's ever been made. Unless, of course, you count uh, Terminator 2. Do you? I, I, I don't know. Well, I'll see you next time from so-and-so, except not from the Seychelles reviewing well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Fuck my tailbone.